So ahead of uh, AEW's Canadian debut in Toronto next Wednesday, I'm so thrilled to welcome back to the show Tony Khan. He is the co-founder. He is the GM. He is the man at AEW. At AEW, Dynamite's going to be in Toronto. And Tony, after your backstage, you celebrated the three-year anniversary of AEW. First of all, congratulations. Last time I talked to you, Tony, uh, you said you really wanted to get up here to Canada. And that was back in 2020. So... The pandemic obviously prevented that from happening for a while, but here we are. You're finally coming here next Wednesday. How good does it feel to finally have your first international event? It feels great, Jay. I'm so excited about AEW coming to Toronto next week. It's the first international event in AEW history. It will be Wednesday night live at the Coca-Cola Coliseum in Toronto, AEW Dynamite. We have a huge crowd coming. And then we're following it up the next night, AEW Rampage. And it's just huge. It's the first time AEW's ever toured internationally. And it's been a big priority for us for a long time. We have this great relationship. And it's great to bring AEW Dynamite and AEW Rampage to Toronto. And uh, Canadian legend Chris Jericho will be defending his Ring of Honor title against Brian Danielson at Dynamite in Toronto next Wednesday. And how much fun is it for you, Tony? Because you're such a wrestling fan at heart. How much fun is it for you to put on dream matches like this that's a huge match and it's a dream match absolutely and it's an honor to be able to promote chris jericho versus brian danielson for the ring of honor world championship on aew dynamite it's a huge championship match and really uh the whole event aew coming to toronto it's massive and it's very fitting chris jericho's first match in canada in many many years coming in a huge circumstance, a world championship match against one of the greatest wrestlers in the world, Brian Danielson. And a little teaser for the fans. I actually talked with Chris Jericho the other night. We're going to show you that interview uh, Monday night here on the show. But one of the things he said that really st stuck out with me, Tony, is that he said that Chris Jericho said he's having like the best year of his career. He just celebrated his 32nd anniversary in the ring, in the business. He's about to turn 52 uh, he's an AEW original. He's the guy who really put this on his back and has been so great for you. How amazing, though, has it been for you to watch the kind of year that he's had at this age and how great he still continues to be? It's so great to have Chris Jericho every week here in AEW, and right now he really is performing at the highest level. You know, Chris, like you said from the very beginning, it, he's an AEW original. He was the first AEW world champion ever. But right now, the 2022 Chris Jericho is the best one we've ever had. Chris has lost 31 pounds this year, and he's had some of the best matches he's had. If you watch AEW at the beginning, you saw Chris was one of the most important people all along in this company. But really, uh, in 2022, he's stepped up in a major way, and he's just had some of his best matches. And he's really been, I believe, the best Chris Jericho we've seen in a long time in this, like you said, a 30-year legendary career. That's why it's so cool to have Jericho coming to Toronto next week, defending the Ring of Honor world title against Brian Danielson in a match that embodies uh, the beliefs of sports entertainment versus pro wrestling. Jericho versus Danielson will be a great match. And you have Dynamite on Wednesday in Toronto. Your Friday night show, Rampage, will also be coming from Toronto next week. Both of those, you'll get, be able to see them right here on TSN, as you always see AEW Wrestling right here on TSN. Tony, what else can we expect from those shows in Canada next week? Well, Jay, Toronto's own Christian Cage will be in town. His protege, Luchasaurus, will be taking on his former partner, the former World Tag Team Champions, uh, Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus going one-on-one. -on -one. That'll be a great match. So another one of Canada's great wrestlers will be up there. That's something I'm really looking forward to seeing is Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever. And uh, do you have any other plans for Canada? I mean, could we see an even bigger event, Tony, an even bigger event than Dynamite and Rampage come to Canada in the near future? I would love to bring huge events, uh, AEW Dynamite, AEW Rampage. Those are our biggest TV events, and it's great having these big weekly shows, this great relationship we have with the fans, and I would absolutely love at some point to bring a pay-per-view event to Canada, too, and would love to do it in Toronto, but there's a lot of great cities in Canada where I think we could do AEW TV, AEW pay-per-view, and Toronto's a great place to start next week with AEW making our first international tour ever next week I'm in looking, Toronto. I can't wait for it, Tony. Now, when you were on with 
me last time, when you came on the show last time, you're practically a friend of the show now. We tested your photographic memory for wrestling matches because you're such a fan. We're going to do it again. And this is interesting, Tony. On our set, we have a picture of the legendary Canadian Bret Hart. Uh, it's actually featured on the set. We're going to show it to you now. Now, I'm going to ask you, favorite Bret Hart match? Uh, my favorite Bret Hart match would probably be the I Quit match versus Steve Austin. Uh, I, there's a lot of great Bret Hart matches, and I think Kurt Hennig was one of his best opponents, but probably Steve Austin I would have to go with. Okay. Once again, you will be able to see both Dynamite and Rampage from Toronto next week right here on TSN. Tony Khan, you're the man. We appreciate you joining us, and uh, please come back and chat with us again anytime. Good luck next week in Toronto. Thank you, Jay. Thanks for having me on, and I'm excited to see you next week in Toronto. I really appreciate it. Thanks for supporting AEW.